let us analyze. We have to solve each problem below. In number one, we have solve for the value of k in the equation x squared minus 8x plus k minus 9 equals 0 if the roots are equal. Now, problem number one, or let us make problem number one as our guide to the other problems or to the following problems. So our solution, we have letter A. Identify the value of A, B, and C. In the problem or in the equation, A equals 1, B equals negative 8, and C equals K minus 9. K belongs to the constant term, so that is why the value of C is K minus 9. Next, set up the correct equation or inequality using the discriminant and nature of the roots. Again, the discriminant is p squared minus 4ac. And in the problem, the nature of the roots are equal, meaning to say the discriminant is 0. So that is why we have b squared minus 4ac equals 0. Next, plug in the value of a, b, and c to the equation or the inequality found in letter b and simplify. So we have negative 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times k minus 9 equals 0. So we just substitute that or we have just substituted the value of a, b, and c. Okay, let us continue. Negative 8 squared is 64. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And we copy the value of C, which is K minus 9, equals 0. Next, we have to distribute negative 4 to K minus 9. Negative 4 times K is negative 4K. Negative 4 times negative 9 is positive 36. That is why we have 64 minus 4K plus 36 equals 0. Next, Combine similar terms. Similar terms are 64 and 36. So 64 plus 36 is 100. And we will just copy negative 4k equals 0. Next, we will transpose negative 4k to the right side of the equation. So if we transpose again, the, the sign will change from negative to positive to positive to negative. So it will become 100 equals 4k and after that we will divide both sides of the equation by 4 in order to get the value of k so we have 100 over 4 equals 4k over 4 let's cancel out 4 and 100 over 4 is 25 so we have 25 equals k, where k equals 25. Now, let us check. If the value of k is 25, so we have to substitute it to k. We have x squared minus 8x plus 25 minus 9 equals 0. Now, 25 minus 9 is 16. We have x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals 0. And in the equation, the value of a is 1, b plus negative 8, c plus 16. And again, the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac, and the roots are equal, so that is equal to 0, or the discriminant is equal to 0. Next, substitute the values of a, b, and c. We have negative 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 16 equals 0. Negative 8 squared is 64. Negative 4 times 1 times 16 is negative 64 equals 0. 64 minus 64 is 0, and 0 is equal to 0. Check. Number 2. Solve for the value of k in the equation 3x squared minus 2x plus k equals 0 if the roots are real and not equal again if the roots are real and not equal 
So now, we have to identify A, B, and C. A equals 3, B equals negative 2, C equals K. Next, discriminant, we have B squared minus 4AC. And take note, the nature of the roots, we have real and not equal. Meaning to say, the discriminant is greater than 0. That is why we have B squared minus 4AC is greater than 0. Next, we have to substitute. Negative 2 squared minus 4 times 3 times k equals 0. Next. Negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 4 times 3 times k is negative 12k is greater than 0. So now, we have to transpose negative 12k to the right side of the inequality. Again, we are dealing with inequality. So it will become... 4 is greater than 12k. And after that, we will divide both sides of the inequality by 12. So we have 4 over 12 is greater than 12k over 12. We have to cancel out 12. And uh, 4 over 12 is 1 third. So we have 1 third is greater than k or k is less than one thirds. One thirds is about 0 0.33. So less than that, for example, we have negative 1. So let us check. If k is negative 1, we have 3x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. a equals 3, b equals negative 2, and c equals negative 1. Again, we have b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. Next, substitute negative 2 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 1 is greater than 0. Negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 4 times 3 times negative 1 is positive 12. So we have 4 plus 12 is greater than 0 and 4 plus 12 is 16. And 16 is greater than 0. That is checked. Next, number 3. Solve for the value of k in the equation x squared minus 5x plus k plus 4 equals 0 if the equation has no real roots. Okay? So, our solution is letter A, we have to identify A, B, and C. A equals 1, B equals negative 5, and C equals k plus 4. Letter B. Again, the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. So let's go back to our given roots or nature of the roots. It has no real roots. Meaning to say the discriminant is less than 0. That is why we have b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. Next, we have to substitute negative 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times k plus 4 is less than 0. Again, the value of b is negative 5, the value of a is 1, and the value of c is k plus 4. We have to simplify. We have negative 5 squared is 25, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, and we copy the value of c, which is k plus 4, is less than 0. Next, distribute negative 4 to k plus 4. So we have 25 minus 4k minus 16. Negative 4 times k is negative 4k. Negative 4 times 4 is negative 16. And then is less than 0. Next, combine similar terms. Similar terms are 25 and negative 16. So we have 25 minus 16 that is 9 and then minus 4k is less than 0. So next, we will transpose negative 4 to the right side of the inequality. So it will become 9 is less than 4k. And next to that, we have to divide both sides by 4. So we have 9 over 4 is less than 4k over 
4. Next, cancel out 4. So we have 9 over 4 is less than k or k is greater than 9 over 4. 9 over 4 is 2.25. So greater than 2.25, let us say 3. So we have x squared minus 5x plus 3 plus 4 equals 0. Combine 3 and 4, we have x squared minus 5x plus 7 equals 0. In the equation, a equals 1, b equals negative 5, and c equals 7. And we have the inequality, b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. Next, substitute, we have negative 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 7 is less than 0. Negative 5 squared is 25. Negative 4 times 1 times 7 is negative 28. And that is less than 0. 25 minus 28 is negative 3. And negative 3 is less than 0. Check. Number 4. The graph of 3x squared minus 12x plus k equals 0 cross the x-axis twice. What is the value of k? So now, a equals 3, b equals negative 12, and c equals k. Now, if the graph of the quadratic equation or the parabola cross the x-axis twice, that means the discriminant is positive. And if the discriminant is positive, that is greater than 0. So letter B, we have B squared minus 4AC is greater than 0. Again, if the graph of the quadratic equation or the parabola cross the x-axis twice, meaning to say the discriminant is positive. Because, or since it is positive, the discriminant is greater than 0. Next substitute, we have negative 12 squared minus 4 times 3 times k is greater than 0. Simplify, negative 12 squared is 144. Negative 4 times 3 times k is negative 12k is greater than 0. Next to that, we have to transpose negative 12k to the right side of the inequality. And it will become 144 is greater than 12k. And next to that, we have to divide both sides by 12. So we have 144 over 12 is greater than 12k over 12. And let us cancel out 12. We have 144 over 12 is greater than k. And 144 over 12 is 12. So we have 12 is greater than k or k is less than 12. So now let us check. Since k is less than 12, let's have 11. If k equals 11, we have 3x squared minus 12x plus 11 equals 0. In the equation, a equals 3, b equals negative 12, and c equals 11. And again, our inequality is b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. Substitute, we have negative 12 squared minus 4 times 3 times 11 is greater than 0. Negative 12 squared is 144. Negative 4 times 3 times 11, that is 132. And that is greater than 0. So 144 minus 132 is 12. And 12 is greater than 0. That is check. Alright. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa vlog na ito. Sana marami kayong natutunan galing sa akin. At sa aking mga estudyante dyan sa San Antonio National High School para nga eh. Sana class, kayang-kaya nyo nang sagutan ang activities sa module ninyo in relation with this topic, Discriminant in Nature of the Roots of Quadratic Equation. God bless sa inyo. Good luck palagi sa inyo class. Kayang-kaya nyo yan. 
at uh, kapag nakatulong ito sa inyo, kapag nakatulong yung mga vlog ko sa inyo, ako ay humihingi sa inyo ng suporta ah, na sana mag-subscribe kayo sa aking YouTube channel at i-like ninyo ang video na ito, paki-share na rin, baka makakatulong ito sa iba, sa ibang mag-aaral. At uh, bago po tuluyang uh, tapusin ang vlog na ito, let me share this to you guys. Lead yourself and walk through the path of mastery by Sir Mar. Uulitin ko guys sa White House Puso, nagpapasalamat sa inyo sa patuloy ninyong panunood sa aking mga video tutorials at sa pag-suporta sa aking YouTube channel.